I'm gonna find a way out of this place. That's my doorway. Me. I know they mean well, but my hospital room is beginning to look like a memorial. Take escape according to my chart. I won't be around for long. Me. My body. That's the only connection between story time and... and home. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The, I don't know what you'd call it, the signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. That's not doing anything at all, except maybe giving me... I'm in a coma, I don't think I can get any slower. The next step down is stop, and stop is... No. Bad. Dad. Gabrielle. Stops by every day. Keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. I'm in a coma. I'm not sure how I feel about my father right now. It's a mess. This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. This is probably a terrible idea, but I don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there. In the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... Unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. I need to be in that body. And I need to stop sounding like a pervert. That's not doing anything at all. Except maybe giving me hot flashes. I tried reading my own mind once. The... I don't know what you'd call it. The signal from my comatose brain. It's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind.
I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. Thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. The little engine that could keeps my brain ticking when the rest of me doesn't. No light source there. That thing doesn't have any conscious thoughts. No light source there. So, if I slow these readings down, the system should compensate by adjusting the drug dosage, jolting my system, hopefully waking me up, possibly killing me. Well, fingers properly crossed. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. Okay, so magic machine is working overtime, pumping a scary amount. Of I'm thinking this could turn out to be a very bad thing. My doorway to the world of the living. So, okay, the cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now, oh, it's too fast, too jarring, like, like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. Okay, so, magic machine is working overtime pumping a scary amount of drugs into my system. Where do you think you're going? You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. I'm not letting... She's right. Is that who I really am? She's right. I can't be. Is that who I really am? I've made up my mind. I'm not letting her stand in my way. Just get the fuck away from me. See? This is why you're stuck. You can't even look at yourself in the mirror because you're ashamed of what you'll see. You're ashamed of me. Too much of a good thing isn't necessarily a better thing. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I've made up my mind. I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. So it's not all gone. We don't have a home to go back to. We've lost everything. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's not. We, we can't know what's waiting. I'm going to find out for 